What's up? So I got a quick review of the portable monitor, this one on the screen. For some reason it comes in a box, at least mine did, come in a box that looks like this. I was worried I got scammed or got the wrong one or whatever. If this happened to you, don't worry about it. Um, this is the right box. It just has a weird picture of a different monitor on there. Not sure why. This is what the back looked like for me. Now let's unbox this thing. When you open it up, it's going to look like this. Now, keep in mind, I already opened it up. I've already used this for a few hours now and everything. I put it all back in the box the way I saw it, you know, for dramatic effect. But it's going to come in this little bag thing. Obviously, it'll be sealed up. And yeah, let's put that to the side. Then it comes with this thing. I can't remember if something was in here. I don't think it was. I think just the little directions are on top. Bam. Usual books and shit, pluck them and follow them. Usual books and shit, pluck them and follow them. Shout out Flossy Carter. <laughs> then you get this thing. And this is something, depending on your setup, I hope you never have to use that. All right. USB-C, if your computer has it, this thing comes with everything you need. Right here. USB-C to USB-A, in case your computer doesn't, or laptop doesn't have a USB-C port. Bam. This is the usb no, this is the HDMI to HDMI, as you can see, untouched by me because I do not need it. And then hopefully everyone in the comments section, I hope you guys all are able to use this. This is the best option, USB-C to USB-C. This allows you to power the device and do, and do the actual image transfer so you can see with the screen. So it, this USB-C port will act as your HDMI port and your power source. So that's goaded. This is the ideal option. This is what you want. All right, let's put this to the side and let me show you what the monitor actually looks like. You know, it's pretty light. I don't think you're supposed to hold, well, you can hold it like this, but I don't think you're supposed to hold it at the edge like this. That, I just wouldn't do that. I think it just says something about that in there. That's the back. These are all the ports on one side. It tells you PD, HP, Type-C, mini, mini DP, and then HD. This is a regular size HDMI. This is, I don't know, sorry. This is the Type-C. I hope everyone can use this. This is the most ideal. This is HP. This is actually a headphone jack, I think. And yeah. Um, and then this. This is a USB-C port. I don't know why it says PD. Then on the other side, you have another... A mini HDMI port, I believe, but it says OTG. I don't know what that means. Sorry. And then you have the menu. So you have power. Um, this actually controls the brightness, not the volume. I don't know why. And then you have the menu button, obviously. And then you have the exit button. When you're in the menu, you press this to exit. And it looks like here you have a mount. Like you could almost mount this up somewhere. Um, those do look like screw ports it doesn't come with any screws or anything like that unfortunately so i don't know how you'd set this up but i won't be using it for that so this goes back on like this this is how you want it it magnetizes on at first i thought it was attached but it's magnetized on let me give you a look of the side so what the side looks like this is the little speaker these speakers are trash they actually sound okay but um they don't get very loud that's the issue Whatever, you shouldn't want to use it anyway. Another speaker, and then, like I said, HDMI, whatever that is, USB-C, headphone jack, USB-C. And then, this is the front of the monitor. Woo! Now, hold on, let me flip it around. Bam! Now, when you get yours, it'll have plastic over it, and it'll be taped on. That's how mine came, at least. I try to just leave the plastic on to protect it, but I realized, as you can see here, this is an anti-glare screen. But with the plastic on, you could see the glares. So that's what anti-glare looks like. On a normal screen, you know, those these lights right here would just, it would look like almost like a mirror. But anti-glare, this is what it does. It helps make those glares not as prevalent. Now, obviously, you wouldn't watch anything like this at this angle. But when you have lights in the distance and stuff, it really helps cut down the glare. So you want to take that plastic off. Now, when you move it up, you can see there's two little spots here for you to dock it. Bam, one, bam, two. This is what it looks like. 
No. Now, if, if you have it docked up in this position right here on the second one to keep it up, I noticed you can actually have it docked like this, and it works if you want it to be more flat, or you could even go back a little farther. I'd be careful though, you're risking it, you know, falling over. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe it's not that much of a risk. <laughs> it's staying up. Um, but I'm still giving you a warning, you know, that's, it might fall down. It's not like it's going to break. It can probably just flop down and be fine. But, you know, this is on sale for, for me. It was 150 bucks. The normal price is like 230 or something ludicrous. I wouldn't buy it at that price, but I would buy it at 150. I'm going to set this up now, show you what it looks like. And yeah. And bam, welcome to my setup. <laughs> so this is actually quite portable if you find a you know you go to starbucks for work or whatever you want to get some stuff done homework whatever you need that dis second display you find a table big enough this works especially if you don't need to have your laptop plugged in or it's fully charged which is what i'm going to do right now all you need is this hopefully i really hope you guys everyone who's watching this video who ends up watching it only needs this because this is just watch this for me i just plug it into the back of my laptop right there and then the HDMI, unfortunately the USB-C is on the other side, so you gotta stretch it around. But once you plug it in, bam, it's plugged in. Power it on. Boop. Will it power on? The moment of truth. Is this the power button up here? I forgot which one's the power button, hold up. <laughs> it is this one, so let's see if it works now. I'm, I'm gonna hold it down. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, der, 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 der. my laptop's not on. <laughs> der, 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 der. Hold on. Okay, there goes the laptop and there goes the monitor, which I will be reviewing this laptop. I just bought it. I got it on super sale. Plus I traded in an old one for it, whatever. It's a really good laptop. Let you see that. RTX 3060 graphics card, or I mean 3070 Ti graphics card, my bad. Yeah, it's really good. Vector GP66. I love it so far, especially with this second monitor. So now we just sign in and let's see. And bam, would you look at that? It's connected. I don't know what this is. Bam, and as you can see, it's connected. It works flawlessly. I have it kind of far away, but obviously you can move it closer. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, for me, I like to have it like this. Boom. And as you can probably already tell, the color on it is a little washed out. This is the best you can get. I have the contrast all the way up. I have, unfortunately, you know, the brightness is all the way up. I have all those settings. See, brightness all the way up. Brightness all the way up, contrast all the way up. I even turned the sharpness all the way up, um, which looks fine, by the way, it, as you can see. it's Now, this is a 1080p HDR compatible display, which is really cool. But <laughs> let me show you. So I got it right here. This display is not HDR. This display says it's HDR, but it's clearly darker, as you can see. It's a lot darker. Now, all the lights are on in here. It's obviously daylight. Um... Honestly, I can see it fine. I'm not too angry about how dark it looks. I just do wish it got really bright. Like, this gets a lot brighter. Even this, in my opinion, is a bit too dark, but it's good enough. This is darker than that. Um, unless you're in a super bright area, it won't be too much of a problem. Um, but yeah. But let's have a look at the HDR here. So this is the way I test it, right? Look at these bright lights up here. Look at the car lights. And then look at this couple right here. Okay, you can see it all pretty well. This is HDR on. Okay, then we drag that over here. And let's see how it looks. See, it looks different. Look at the bright lights. I don't know if it translates on camera. Look at the couple back here. You can still see them okay, but there's not as much detail. The lights, you clearly lost detail here. But it's not what you would expect. Like, I have a Galaxy S22 Ultra. That HDR is way better than this HDR right here. But it is HDR nonetheless. It does make everything look a lot better. It makes up for the fact that the screen is only 1080p. All right, we're back. So now let's go on to the uh, display over here, or I mean sound. 
and we'll make it so it comes out. This is, should be your device name, I believe, right here. So now the sound will come out of this device here. We're gonna do a comparison. I will warn you though, it's not even a fair comparison. This laptop, review coming soon, this laptop has amazing speakers, 3D sound. I don't know if it advertises it, but it definitely has some sort of Dolby Atmos 3D sound going on. Cause I hear stuff that sounds like it's like over here sometimes, or like a little bit back here sometimes. And it has two speakers here, two speakers here. That's it. Anyways, let's play this video. Full volume. Let's get some dialogue. Shout out to Unbox Therapy. Shout out to Lou later. Even though they changed up the podcast and didn't explain why and still haven't, it's back to how it used to be a little bit. You know, there's no mo money, mo problems. I don't know what happened with that. If you're an Unbox Therapy fan, you know. But anyways, it is what it is. So it looks good. It sounds good, but it's obviously very quiet. This is full volume, like I said. Let me make sure. It's annoying. You have to go into menu just to check and then go down to volume. Where see volume 100% right there. So So yeah, this is 100%. I knew I was going to get some action. I knew I was going to hear some So I said, you know what? Honestly, I could live with this volume if I needed to for some weird reason. But it's completely quiet in here. I got a little bit of this sound. If you can't hear it through the mic, that's it. But let's compare it now to this, which again has amazing speakers. I'm only going to go 50% just to show you. You know what I mean? Switch it back to my laptop speakers. By the way, you just go to settings, you go to system, you go to sound, and then... I don't know what all this is, but yeah, your laptop might be different, but that's how you change it, just so everyone knows. Which is uh, one of those hack kind of remedies. Uh -huh. There's no comparison, dude. I knew I was going to get a chemical reaction. I knew I was going to get some action. I knew Only 50%. I some g -g 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 So. Oh, I my said, bad. You know Let me give it a crack. And so I poured. 50%. I poured. Oh, I poured. Sorry about that. All right, we're back again. I'm going to do five seconds on each. Five seconds on here. Five seconds on here. Then I'm going to close out the video. Audio test. Here we go. E trap off and see what I got going. And let me tell you what I got out of there. I don't know if it was alive or dead. Oh, I got something out of there. Good, 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 good. And yes, that is at full volume, okay? So it's, look, <laughs> just use the speakers on your laptop or go buy a Bluetooth speaker or a wired speaker, external speaker, little small one or something. Don't rely on this unless you're in a super quiet environment and you can bear with it. Um, you know, other than that, it's just, this is a screen for visual referencing. For me right now, the way I'm using it, Trying to learn Premiere Pro, so I have the tutorial on this screen, full screen. I can have Adobe Premiere at full screen right here. That's it. That's, I mean, that's not the reason I bought it. I bought it because it's useful to have a second screen for many reasons. That's just one of them, right? So, again, this is all with the USB-C port only, power and visual. It's really nice. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments down below. Please let me know what you think. How I did on the video leave a like or dislike depending on how you feel I did and yeah that's the end of this video and I hope to see you again peace